Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is expo day for springtime surprise. So we are gonna be headed there this morning. Overall, we are spending our day at Hollywood Studios, so make sure to come along with us. We're gonna try and head on Rise of the Resistance first because we haven't actually been on that this year. We're then gonna see what we can do, head over to Expo for a bit, grab our bibs and stuff, and then go back over to Hollywood Studios for the rest of the day. So make sure to stay tuned. If you haven't already seen the rest of this series, which involves like the last week or so, I will link it up there so you can go and check it out. And other than that, let's go. The park doesn't open for over half an hour and these are the queues to get in. This is crazy. We made it. What's the time? Three minutes past eight. Three minutes past eight. Park officially opens at half past. Now we just need to go get in the queue for the Star Wars part. And then we have to get in the queue for the Rise of the Resistance part. So a lot more queuing, but here we go. We've just seen a sign saying that Rise of Resistance is already 30 minutes. The park doesn't open for half an hour, but I guess because of demand, maybe they open this one early. I don't know, but anyway, hardly anyone's going there. Everybody's going the Toy Story way, so I guess we might be all right. This is everyone. Everyone's so, going that way. Yeah, literally everyone's going over there. But anyway, hopefully we'll get on it. Here we go, we made it to the end of the queue. Who knows how long this will take, but anyway. Right, queue times is 50 minutes now, so I don't think that's too bad though, even if it is that long. We've just gotten ourselves a virtual queue spot for the merchandise shop at Expo, and we're group 33, which apparently is two and a half hours away. But it's still an hour and a half until Expo opens, so we should be in for about 11 o'clock. And we're still in the queue for Rise, but that means the park is now open, so in my head, the queue starts now. <laughs> While we're at the front, the park's been officially open for about one minute, so that's a one minute queue. <laughs> 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 this ship is now under the command of the First Order. You are to disembark and then proceed down the corridor on your right for interrogation. You have what I want. You know the location of the secret base. <laughs> Star Wars, it's really good. We were gonna go on Tower of Terror, but apparently it's got a hundred minute wait and it only opened like two minutes ago. So Smuggler's Run only has 25 minutes, so we're gonna go on that instead. Stormtroopers are out in the wild. All right, here we go, 35 minutes apparently. We shall see if it is actually that. It's been 20 minutes and we are in. Not bad at all. I am sorry I was not be there to welcome you in person, but the work of a smuggler and a businessman is never done. Fire the missiles 
That was so fun. We had a little boy driving, like being the pilot, because he wanted to be it. So we were good as an engineer, but it was so fun. It, it never gets old, that one, because it's different every time. We're now actually leaving the park to head over to the ESPN to grab our bibs, t shirts, everything we want, and to go look at the merch at the Springtime Surprise Expo. <laughs> Thank you. So the only bad thing about going to the expo is you can't get there from a park. So we've decided to hop on the Skyline and we're going to go to the Riviera Resort and then grab the bus over to expo from there. found in Riviera. Our resort doesn't have one of these, or at least it didn't this morning. <laughs> but it tells you your bus stop, time you've got to get the bus by, what time the races are, what time the expo is open at. We made it. What's the time? 8.39. Two hour? 9.39? 10. 10.39. <laughs> Alright, our first stop is to pick up our race bibs. I'm really hoping this is going to go a lot smoother than it did in February. Yes, no queue. Last time we zigzagged all the way through this room, but I think we came really early. So actually, unless you're like super eager, it's only been open for like 45 minutes or so, and now there's no queues. We did it, we got our bibs. We're now gonna go pick up our t-shirts, and then we're gonna go and find the merch. There is even fuel rub machines at Expo. I've seen another one in at ESPN, somewhere else near the restaurant. So here we go. Ta-da! Shirts are collected, thank you. We're just having a sneak peek at the medals. Won't be as much of a sneak peek when you guys see this because it will be ages later. Our last stop now is to head over and see what merch they've got. I'm always definitely gonna buy something, so stay tuned to see what I get. Just so you know, once you've been in the virtual queue, there is more queuing. But last time we queued all the way down there and across there, so this is quite small. It's currently about quarter to 11. We've made it in. That queue was like five minutes, if that. That's the quickest queue ever. Let's go see what we can find. What size do I get? Small, I reckon. This is what I'm thinking of. It's 94.99. Some really sad news. Small is the smallest size and it's absolutely enormous. I usually buy medium or large clothes, but even the small is way too big, so I can't get that. This is the new plan. See if they've got this in a small size. Not only are these too big again, but the sleeves are not the same. One's normal and one has like a thumb hole situation. So that's also a no. So oh, it's kind of turn. sad. All the smalls are si uh, selling out of everything because there's no extra small, extra, extra small. It goes up to 3XL, but small is the smallest size. So all smalls and mediums have sold out now. So there's literally nothing we can get. Some fabulous news. We thought these had all sold out and Debs and Rach went diving into this guy's merch bucket. Not, it was a cast member and found this. I am gonna get this. Apologies if I'm uncultured and I don't know his name, but there's the guy, what's his name? The guy from Monsters Inc. who gets a sock on his back. And then this bullseye from Toy Story. How cute. But well, the lines are huge, so we're not waiting. So we've just come to this concession stand and they're giving out free impossible meatballs. So, something to try. Impossible meat gets a 10 out of 10 every time. And a free hat. How cute. Speaking of impossible, oh, it's up there. Speaking of impossible, we've now come to the grill and I'm gonna get an impossible burger. So we've got two orders of the pen penny bolognese and I got the impossible burger and it came to $34 in total. We are now headed back to our resort to drop all our new stuff off because we've got bibs, t-shirts, jumpers and then we're gonna head back out to Hollywood Studios. We've made it back to the Contemporary and all the signs for the run weekend are now up in our resort as well. We are on bus number five. So we've just arrived back, but it started to rain. So we're gonna chill for a little while and see what the weather does. And then if it clears up a little bit or it kind of stays as it is, it's not too bad. We'll head back out to Hollywood Studios. Here's a fun update. We've been in the room for, like, I don't know, 15 minutes. And it says here, severe thunderstorm watch until 10 p.m. So 
who knows what's gonna happen for the rest of the day. A slight change of plan, a lot of rain slash storms is forecast. We don't know if it's actually gonna happen or not, but also last time we looked, Rise of the Resistance and Tower of Terror were both down at Hollywood Studios, which means all the other rides go up in times. So we've decided tonight we're actually gonna go to Magic Kingdom instead because we can just walk there. If the weather gets bad, we can just come back. And then we're gonna head to Hollywood Studios tomorrow afternoon uh, and get the stuff done that we didn't do today. The best part of being able to walk to the Magic Kingdom, personal security just for our hotel and there's never a queue. Since the last time we were here, something very exciting has happened. They changed out the 50 for the 100. I don't think it's quite as nice as the other one. It's a bit more like plain, but it's still pretty cool. They did Oh my gosh, it's the flag raising! Cool, we've never seen this before. Oh, they're bringing it down. Wow, I've literally never seen this in all the years we've been coming. God bless America. I've never seen that before, but I think sometimes like Brits think we're fairly similar to American people just generally, but actually so many things that we're very different with. For example, we never ever do things like that. We don't do anything with our flag. We don't, I don't know. It's just so different. We don't really ever sing or hear the national anthem or anything like that. Um, and apparently later on they put the flag back up. So if we catch that, I'll make sure to show you guys. Our first ride today, well actually this evening, we've already been on some rides this morning, is going to be Pirates of the Caribbean. It says it's going to be 30 minutes, so that's absolutely brilliant. Since we got in the queue about five minutes ago, it's gone on to 55 minutes, so this might be longer than I anticipated, but we're too far in now. <laughs> so we're just going to stay. It's been about 40 minutes, so more than we expected when we, more than we expected when we got in the queue, but actually less than it said a few minutes after, so we'll take it. Magic Kingdom dinner option, which is Picos Bills. Although we are at the same restaurant we always go to, Debs has ordered something we've never had before. So I'll make sure to show you guys that. I've gone for my regular veggie rice bowl with extra beans. Rachel's also gone for her regular a kids chicken rice bowl. But Debs has got beef nachos, which comes with like nacho cheese, I guess. And then we've got a load of salsa, extra queso, salad, and then the kids meal also comes with an orange, apple slices and a spray and then we just got two waters and that was just over 30 dollars all right our last ride of the day is going to be jungle cruise apparently it has a 50 minute wait so apparently this has always been a thing but i don't remember ever seeing them you can get a cute bag to put like phones and cameras and stuff in and it has like cute little things written on it how fun is that here we go it's been about 45 minutes so we are world famous for being famous around the world. My name's Skipper Flo. I'm going to be your skipper on this fine day. Looks like we're currently entering the Amazon rainforest right now. This is a really cool place. It rains like 365 days a year here. My personal favorite dish is actually the piranha. It's super good. It's got a bit of a bite to it. Memory. They have the best memory of any animal in the whole entire jungle. Wish I had a memory like that. 
that. It'd be really helpful with this job. Now we can actually tell that because they're still in black and white. Pretty cool, right? Oh gosh, isn't that precious? Those lions are watching that horse he's sleeping. <laughs> Looks dead. Tired, if you ask me. Dead, tired. Everybody, please get it up for me. secret. If you find yourself passing by the Jungle Cruise later tonight, and don't worry, we'll understand. Now we're going to pull on up to this dock. It's going to be really interesting. Some exciting stuff is going to happen over here. Like, you getting out of the boat. What's going to stop it? I know, it's kind of crazy. Well, you know, folks, uh, gosh, it's just like my parents told me on my 18th birthday. They sent me down. They skip, said, skip a flow. I said, yes, skip a parents. Uh, and they said, uh, never truly say goodbye to each other so uh you know we have now arrived back at the room for the evening it's only about eight o'clock i think but we do have to get up at 3 15 tomorrow for the 5k so we want to make sure to get an early ish night i do hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave it a massive thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss all the future videos coming out very soon including all three of the springtime surprise runs and other than that i'll see you guys next time with a brand new video bye